Guarda, la formica atomica è tornata. Guarda, Guarda la, la formica, formica atomica, atomica è, tornata. è tornata. Guarda, la formica atomica è tornata. And what's happening, boys? And welcome to the 86 Ultimate Scream Atomic Ant, a.k.a. Sebastian Giovinco, one of the channel icons, one of the channel legends uh, on the channel over the course of the years, and he returns in the form of, like I said, an 86 Ultimate Scream card, 4 star, 4 star, and comes in at a very respectable price, uh, 35 to 40,000 coins on the Xbox, which is what, um... Uh, which is what I use on the RTG, but today I'm on the PlayStation. So it's around 35, 40,000 coins, which I think is a very, very fair asking price. Obviously, he's a main nationality. He's a top five nationality, but in terms of off league, uh, I don't think they could have justified putting him upwards of 65, 70K like that. I mean, Herit, I think a big reason why he goes for so much is not only did he get himself a decent upgrade, but he's also Bundesliga. So I like when we get these off league players because they're relatively a little bit cheaper and he falls into the category of one of those players that's going to possibly quantify or qualify himself as a super sub in FIFA 20. But before we go any further, boys, before we go any Vafanculo, before we go any Pellegrini, drop a mad lad like on the video if this episode helps you in some way, shape, or form figure out if you like or don't like or want to or don't want to complete this SPC. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now that we've got the shenanigans out of the way, like I said, uh, you do get yourself a, obviously the 86 rated Giovinco card, and then you get a couple packs as well. So for 35k, you get a jumbo gold pack and a small prime gold players pack. So uh, a couple packs back as well. Never a bad thing indeed. 5-4, uh, obviously he's a miniature. That's one of the reasons he has the nickname uh, uh, Formica Atomica, which is the atomic ant. Um, played obviously in the Serie A, has been all over the place, played in MLS for a while, and now is in the Dalriel Jomil League. And um, actually, I actually have no idea I've not been keeping up with how the Atomic Ant has been doing, but maybe that's one of the questions of the episode. Is he ripping it up or is he... As a matter of fact, 2,107 minus 2,000... That's actually a 97 total upgrades, a plus 5 overall on his card, and only gets a 97 total in-game stat upgrade. What? So what they've done here is they've massively jacked off his uh, his shooting, passing, and dribbling stats. Okay, so they, they basically left his defensive and physical stats untouched. They've they've done a nice job upgrading his pace in uh, dribbling, but the shooting and passing upgrades are massive. So I think that's obviously what they've been doing with Ultimate Scream cards is picking a couple stat categories and jacking them off big time. So we've got 95 attacking positioning with the Marksman chem style, 94 finishing, uh, 87 shot power that gets boosted off with the Marksman, 88 long shots that gets boosted with Marksman, and then look at that free kick accuracy, 98. The passing stats have been really really jacked off 96 curve 86 passing and i think you know he sh he plays where he should play based on where he's been shipped and that's a center forward so i think that's probably the best place to play him we'll try him out in a 4-2-3-1 right behind um lorenzo insigne and then the dribbling stats obviously that's what he's known for the 99 agility the 95 balance the ball control the dribbling and uh for 35k you bet your ass we're gonna get him on the rtg as well very very cheap or i should say cheapish I, sh I shouldn't say very very cheap but very very affordable uh we are going to be taking off um um, Spinazzola, I believe it is. We're going to bring on Hulk. I'm going to play him as his left mid. Uh, we're going to go with Koulibaly first owner, Pellegrini. I want to try out this Ultimate Scream medal because I want to do a striker episodio with him. Uh, and then Lorenzo Insigne, uh, who, are we gonna, who we're going to play up top. Now, like I alluded to before, we're going to go to the 4-2-3-1 for this tactic. And I'm thinking this is the perfect place to play him. Quadrado, Spinazzola out there. Uh, medal is going to go on the other side because he's got that. He's got that right foot and then Insigne up top. Instruction set. I think I've already got all these. Um, stay back while attacking. Stay back while attacking. Basic defensive support. Perfect. Um, and then that is going to be it, my dudes. We're going to get into a couple matches here. We're going to see if... Uh, uh, we're going to see if the um, Formica Atomica has what it takes to get it done in FIFA 20. Match number one. Los... Or... Vafanculo. What? Damn, he's got 79 sprint speed? That's kind of tough, dude. So, okay, we're gonna. You know what? I think I'm probably gonna have to for this for match number two. As a matter of fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go directly into this match and we're gonna switch to the four two three one because sprint speed. He's not gonna be able to. At least for us, he's not gonna be able to get it done at striker up top. <laughs> Bro, he's so tiny. It's actually hilarious. Gio. Still Oh, 
Come on, bro. Take me home to a place. Bro, he just slips in. That's the one thing about Giovinco that's always been true on his card. He just, he can slip into the tightest little spaces. Just like Ant-Man. Just like the actual Ant-Man, dude. He's tiny. He's five, dude, he's 5'4", five but he's actually 5'3". <laughs> Sebastian Giovinco. If I'm being honest with you, I didn't think that was going in. I thought that had pretty much zero chance of going in. Sebastian Giovinco. It's the cl it's the clumsiest it's the clumsiest volley I think I've ever seen. But he gets himself a goal. I suppose that's all that matters. One nil, boys. And I love using a player like Giovinco because it inspires me to do like more skill moves on the pitch. Like you saw what we just did with Quadrado there. Um, Koulibaly, absolute tank, packed him yesterday in some of uh, some of the, I think it was the 35k promo packs. Three shots, two on target, 53% possession. The only difference a Giovinco goal. Really, what what more can we ask for? Again, I can't believe I didn't notice that when the, moment, the second we saw the card. Sub 80 pace on the Giovinco card. It actually makes me want to throw up, dude. On Giorno. Damn, that one depth. But you want to know what? <gasps> what? Oh, he could be on a Hattie right now, man. Let's go, Giovinco. It's not the best goal tally that we've ever had, but you want to know what? 2-0, 86th minute. Sebastian Giov Giovinco's been doing that all game. Center forward is where you want to play him. Uh, maybe, you know what? I don't even think I need to put a, um, a chem style on him. I think 79 pace for where he plays there as a center forward, that's more than enough. He gets to that 79 pace very, very quickly, I should, I should add, with the 86 acceleration. But the fact that he only gets plus one sprint speed, that's sad. <laughs> he gets a plus five total in-game stat upgrade and only gets a plus one overall... Uh, pace upgrade, uh, sprint speed upgrade. What? Geeks, yeah. Two goals from Sebastian Giovinco, and I don't think we have any complaints right now. Other than the sprint speed, I don't think I have too many complaints about the card. Let's take a look at the agility. Agility goes up plus two, that's fine. Uh, all the dribbling stats go up about plus two, and it's the shooting stats really. The long shots, go he goes up from like in basically an 80, uh, he goes from 81 uh, long shot rating up to 88. 80 shot power up to 87. Those are the big changes that you're doing the card for, and at the very least, you get yourself an 86 rated card for 35k. It's not too bad. Let's put the trusty old Hawkeye on him. So he's already got crazy dribbling stats. So what is this going to do for him? This is going to get him up to... That's going to get him to 84 sprint speed. It's going to get him up to 91 acceleration. Still really good finishing stats. Uh, dribbling stats are going to stay the same. Okay, let's do it. Gets his aggression up a little bit. So maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll do something different. Match number two, Vapanculo. Here's a fun little Giovinco trivia. Giovinco features an EA Sports FIFA video game series. He appeared on the cover of the MLS Custom Edition of FIFA what? What? Geeks, yeah. GG's. Immobile was a guy that I thought about starting opposite um, Giovinco, just because I thought Gio was going to be the speed, the speed to his, uh, to the speed to his strength. But I think Gio might actually be slower than Chiro Immobile, even though he's got 80 pace. I think Chiro's uh, acceleration is really, really poor. I think he could be on, he could be on like four or five goals at this point. There we go. 
go. Can't do the Fortnite celebration with you, Big Boy's too short. 2 1. But what I will say is our giovinko has been very close. We've gotten very close with a couple players. To be fair, he got very close to going up 3-1 as well, so that's not really fair. But Sebastian Giovinko, bro, he's putting on a dribbling masterclass right now. What is that? I don't know, Chef. He's not good enough. Shoot it. Get out. You're not good enough. Insigne. Piss off. I must have not pressed circle hard enough. I must have been, I, I, I think obviously you need, you need to use a hammer. And you need to be smashing the circle button in order to, to get that to, to finish. Oh my god, that was it! It's the sort of game that literally makes you want to rip it out. It's the, make, it's the kind of game that makes you want to perform open, open heart surgery on your nuts. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes FIFA drives you to it, but you, you know what you gotta have? You gotta have a short term memory. You gotta, you gotta forget. You gotta live and learn. You gotta live and love. You gotta live and lose. <laughs> Geofinko gets himself another goal, so that's three goals in two matches played. The dribbling masterclass, he's he's that's that's why you get yourself a Sebastian Giovinko. You get the small prime gold players pack, and then you get a uh, wait, wait, small prime gold players pack and a jumbo gold pack. So we'll open this one first. In terms of on the pitch performance, guys, uh, I am going to give it a four and a five. He was very very good on the ball. Uh, dribbling stats is obviously one of the key reasons why you would be interested in getting this card. We do get a board. Uh, four to five French. Uh, center mid um, Toliso, hey quarantine Toliso, 83 quarantine Toliso. Not a bad little pull from a uh, from a jumbo gold pack. So I am going to give it a four and a half out of five in terms of performance on the pitch. Now in terms of value, I'm also going to give it a four out of five in terms of value. I know it's an off league uh, nationality is Italian, so for those of you guys running Serie A squads or even hybrids or even looking for a guy that could be considered a super sub, uh, Giovinco is your man for 35,000 coins. I mean that's pretty much dirt cheap at this point in the game. Um, I would say definitely four and a half out of five in terms of both performance and then also value so uh, I'm not coming into it with any bias obviously one of the things that we loved uh, Giovinco for over the course of the years is was the fact that he was fast so that's one of the things that's one of the only reasons I'm going to downgrade him is because of league and then also uh, also the fact that he doesn't have anything doesn't have he doesn't he got plus one upgrade on his pace which is a little bit uh, which is a little bit shocking but then again that's how these ultimate scream cards work right like two Two face stats get uh, jacked off massively, and in this instance, it looks like it was shooting, dribbling, and... Uh, sorry, 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 shooting, passing, and then dribbling. But uh, very, very happy with this Geo Bingo card. Very happy with the price. I'm glad EA didn't uh, charge an exorbitant amount like for the PSG Julian Draxler. I feel like that should have probably been 100,000 coins less. But um, very, very happy with this card, and a fun little way to kickstart the week. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for the Sebastian Geo Bingo, a.k.a. AKA the Atomica for, uh, Formica Atomica, the Atomic Ant. A very, very fun little card to use if you guys try him out let me know how he plays for you uh send me some clips on twitter if you're using him if you score some sweet goals with him but uh hopefully that has hopefully you guys have enjoyed the epi if you did drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below we'll be taking the day off streaming uh because we did grind friday saturday and sunday so we're gonna be taking tonight off and then we'll be back at it tomorrow on tuesday and then hopefully we get some fun SPCs and some other stuff as well. Don't forget to do your little Halloween scream SPCs. Those have been giving out massively for me. So uh, don't forget to get those done as well. But I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.